Adventure Ed is here and I am so excited to make this video today. Today I am doing what I like to call a big day. And that is when I try to see as many species of birds as I can in 24 hours. In reality, I won't go the entire 24 hours, but it's before sunrise and I'm going to go birding until well after sunset. It is late June right now, which is not the ideal time of year for a big day, but this is when I had free time to do this. And right now I'm near El Centro in California and it's before sunrise, it is still dark. I'm on my way to the Salton Sea and then I'm going to work my way back towards San Diego. And it's pretty early right now, I'm pretty tired so I got my coffee, I'm going to chug that coffee on the way to the Salton Sea. I should be there in about half an hour. And this is going to be an all out birding vlog. Every single bird I see today, I'm going to point out to you guys. I'm hoping that we get over 100 species today. I'm going to be very rushed all day. I'm gonna be doing a lot of driving today. The only things I'm really gonna to stop to do will be to stop to get gas, maybe to get a quick bite to eat. But I already have my snacks here, my protein bars and my apples, the ultimate field foods. This is what you call speed mission birding. Hopefully we see as much as we can see. Wish me good luck. I'm almost to the Salton Sea. I pulled over on the side of the road. Now the reason I pulled over was because I saw a burrowing owl, which is a gorgeous little owl, in case you don't know what it is. It's, they kind of remind me of little Furbies. They're these owls that live in the ground. The Imperial Valley in California is one of the best places to see them in the entire country because apparently they have one of the highest population densities here out of anywhere in the whole country. There are also western meadowlarks calling all around me. There are red-winged blackbirds everywhere. I gotta make sure that I make it to the Salton Sea as soon as possible because as soon as the sun rises in the middle of the summertime here, things get hot really, really quickly. Just pulled over. Um, I saw some white-faced ibis flying above me, but there's this huge flock of swallows, uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, they must just be feeding on all these insects coming up off of this uh, farmland here. And Imperial Valley, it's a really interesting place. It's a place with a lot of good soil. So what they've done is they've brought in all of this water and they've cultivated this whole area. And it makes the air quality pretty bad. It makes it kind of a stinky place at certain times of year. But it's a really productive area agriculturally and therefore there can be um, a lot of good birds to see around here. So look at all of these flies inside the car. This is what happens in the Imperial Valley. So I arrived at the Sunny Bono Wildlife Refuge. I have heard that there's actually been some science fiction movies filmed out here, which makes sense because, I don't know, you just it's kind of like this dead, barren wasteland right next to the Salton Sea, which is kind of sort of a highly polluted lake. What a strange looking place this is. It kind of gives me this post-apocalyptic feel. Yeah, you got these power plants with these smokestacks and uh, it gives you kind of this eerie feeling. But what I'm on the lookout for is the yellow-footed gull, which is a species that this is really usually the only place where you can find it in the, in the continental United States. You can find it in the Sea of Cortez, but in the summertime, they do visit the Salton Sea. I've seen it here before in years past. Now I just stopped because I got a Gamble's quail, which is a great species to get out here. I wasn't sure I was gonna get that. That's more of a desert species. I have seen them here at the Sunny Bono Wildlife Refuge before. Kind of similar looking to the California quail, uh, which hopefully we'll see later today. And I am behind schedule. <laughs> and one thing about birding is you kind of feel like you're always behind schedule because you're always stopping unexpectedly to look at stuff. <laughs> Got a Roadrunner, very charismatic bird to the southwest of the United States. Glad I take that one off for the day. 
I actually checked eBird right now on my phone and apparently the yellow-footed gull was seen here yesterday. That gives me a little bit of hope. All right, so I stopped here in this patch of mesquite. It's right next to this marsh. There are marsh wrens singing all over the place in this marsh. I got my first American kestrel here. I got some uh, great-tailed grackles. Heard out Albert's towhee. There's common yellow throats up here that are singing. There are common yellow throats just singing right in there. You hear that? Witchity, witchity, witch. Now the sun has come out from behind the clouds and it's starting to heat up really fast. Wait another day to clear my thoughts or jump into a love that won't be forgotten. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop and try to see if I can get a good look at, at a yellow-footed gull. So we have stopped. We have lots of water birds right around here. We have lots of egrets, lots of black neck stilts. The turns that we're seeing out here are black turns. I have seen a few Caspian turns and a few gull build turns. Just look at these smokestacks. It's so eerie looking. I've also seen some California gulls, but still have not seen a yellow-footed gull yet. The yellow-footed gull looks pretty similar to the western gull, but it has yellow legs. And the last time I saw it was two years ago. I saw it right here along the shoreline, but that was when the water was way higher. And uh, as you can see, the water is lower now and it's not quite as easy to see these birds because before you could just drive right up next to the birds. They were just right here. Gonna give it a few more minutes and then I'm gonna bail, go to a space where there's not many birds, fly my drone out here so you can see this place from an aerial view. So I'm going to walk up this hill. So this is a pretty good panoramic view of the Salton Sea, the Sunny Bono Wildlife Refuge and the surrounding area. As you can see, there's these power plants over there and then there's that rocky hill over there and right to the side of it, there's these pools over there which in the wintertime fill up with waterfowl I did not go over there this time because pretty much all of the ducks are gone at this time of year. But if you come here in the winter time, there are tons of ducks, there's tons of shorebirds. But yeah, this is definitely not the best time of year for water birds at the Salton Sea. But really the main attraction here is the yellow-footed gull, which I have not seen yet, but I'm still keeping my eyes peeled. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fly my drone. exactly is the Salton Sea? What is this body of water? Well, it's basically just this huge lake in the middle of the desert in Southern California. And it's sort of half natural, half man-made. Um, I guess technically it is natural, but because the Colorado River has changed uh, the way it flows, um, the lake is naturally here, but it's basically been expanded due to uh, engineering by humans, due to irrigation, 
and it, it has a long history. It's very polluted. It used to be a vacation spot for celebrities. If you ever come to Southern California, you should definitely visit here no matter who you are. If you're into birds, it's a great birding spot. I'm going to leave this place and head to the Anza Borrego Desert, and I'm just looking to put together a great video. found a common ground of but on my way out I just saw what I believe was a lesser nighthawk I did not get good footage of it it was moving fast but that was cool like right in the middle of the day it's almost 9 a.m. Uh, getting really hot out here and you know nocturnal bird just flying right out in the middle of the day probably uh, I don't know why he was awake right now I guess they they can be active this time of day you know there's probably plenty of food out for it by now I stopped again because we have another burrowing owl right here on the side of the road. 